Last two days we couldn't record the Zen stories because of this festival of Riksha Bandhan, followed by an interaction on Rajini Khan's movie and etc. Today we have the 34th story, Zen story, from the Zen flesh, Zen bones written by Paul Reps. A smile in his lifetime. Mokku Jin was never known to smile until his last day on earth. When his time came to pass away, he said to his faithful ones, You have studied under me for more than 10 years. Show me your real interpretation of Zen. Whoever expresses this most clearly shall be my successor and receive my ro robe and the bowl. Everyone watched Mukujan's severe face, but no one answered. Enko, a disciple who had been with his teacher for a long time, moved near the bedside. He pushed forward the medicine cup a few inches. This was his answer to the command. The teacher's face became even more severe. Is that all you understand? He asked. Enko reached out and moved the cup back again. A beautiful smile broke over the features of Mukujin. You rascal, he told Enko, you worked with me 10 years and have not yet seen my whole body. Take the robe and bowl, they belong to you. There is laughing clubs all over India now. You can see in Bangalore city, most of the parks, people just laugh and they, they believe laughing will bring down the diseases. But I have only seen there are more problems in the society. Just by doing exercise, you will not solve the problem. Your inner things should also change. The laughing clubs should also understand, like any other ashrams and any other gymnasiums or sports, they are slaves. Not more than that, according to me. To not become a slave, you don't have to have a, a club. You do not have to have to join a team in a park and laugh and you think you made others laugh and made you happy. No. In front of your own house, dirt is there. When you do it up, you can see smile on several faces. In front of the house, there are several works. You forget that work and then you appoint people from Northeast, Bihar, Orissa, and then you go to the laughter club, uh, you go to the gym. Funny. If you do not know your own body, your own strength, and you have not applied, God has created you, the nature has created you, you such a beautiful body, wanted you to express, not going to the gymnasium. Right inside the house, there is problems. If you knew, then where is the problem of maintenance, so carpentry, masonry, plumbing, electrical, you all are literates, you call, but you become illiterate in front of all these people. 